clapping for Jesus. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. She left home for school since January. Since January, she has not returned back to Makodi. So much challenges, the enemy didn't want her to graduate with her mate. But one thing is distance this time is no longer a barrier. At every point in time, she will make a call. She will call and say, Daddy, this is it. We'll pray together. And today she has returned with catalogs of testimony. Hallelujah. Church, clap your hands for Jesus. Woo! Clap your hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Amen. Amen. Lift up your two hands to heaven. Lift up your two hands everywhere. Thank you, Jesus. Give him praise. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just open your mouth right now and give Jesus Christ praise. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Just open your mouth and thank him. Thank the Almighty God. He's a good God. He's a good God. Receive a living sacrifice. Ah, yeah. Your worship, I'll my living sacrifice. I hear your worship, receive. Everybody lift up your hands. I live in
God, oh my God. <laughs> Therefore, leave me at the altar with my father. 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 Hey, Jesus, leave me at the altar with my father. Leave me at the altar with my father. Hey, leave me at the altar with my maker. Leave me at the altar with my father. Hey, leave me at the altar with my healer. Leave me at the altar with my Leave me at the altar with my healer. Leave me at the altar with my father. Receive me as a living sacrifice. I am your worship. Paul said, I beseech you, O Lord, that ye present yourself a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable unto God who is your reasonable service be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed be ye transfigured by the renewer of your mind be ye transformed be ye transfigured be ye changed Oh my God. Oh my God. Lift up your two hands everywhere. How do I do it tonight, Lord? I can't continue anything. I can't continue. Because if you can present yourself a living sacrifice, power becomes your identity. If you present yourself, Jesus takes over. Lord, receive me as a living sacrifice. Receive me as a living sacrifice. Somebody open your mouth and pray that prayer. Lord, receive me as a living sacrifice. Receive the totality of my body as a living sacrifice. Lord, receive me as a living sacrifice. Lift up your voice, everybody. Church, lift up your voice. If only one person tonight can present himself or herself to God, it's enough. It's enough. God is not a tax master. He needs you more than your money. He needs you more than your cars. He needs you more than your houses. God needs you as a living sacrifice. Lift up those hands to heaven. I say, Lord, I present myself to you tonight as a living sacrifice. Therefore, I am in your charge. No distraction can take me away. I am here to meet my healer. I am here to meet my maker. I am here to meet my provider. I am here to meet Jesus. Somebody open your mouth and talk to God right now. Lord, I am at your altar. I have come to present myself to you as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Lord, tonight I am here as a living sacrifice. Lord, I am here presenting myself to you as a living sacrifice. This is all of me. Lord, take over my body. Do with me what you want, Lord. No longer me, but you. I surrender myself to you. Jesus, take over my body. Take over my life. Take over everything, Lord. Lift up your voice, everybody. And surrender yourself to the maker. Surrender yourself to Jesus. Ask God to take over. Ask Jesus to take over. When he takes over your body, no charm can walk. No sickness can survive. No atrocity can live there. Jesus, take my body. I give you my body as a living sacrifice. Take me, my father. Lift up your voice everywhere. Surrender yourself to God tonight. 
yourself to Jesus as a living sacrifice ask him to take over your life ladies and gentlemen if you can surrender yourself now that sickness is going to go Amen. if you can surrender yourself right now that affliction is going to disappear Amen. we are saying Lord receive me as a living sacrifice Amen. that barrenness is going to be terminated Amen. that paralysis is going to leave you right now Amen. that family causes is going to disappear right now Amen. Lord receive Oh, <laughs> 
pray. And I say hallelujah. And I say hallelujah. Everybody lift up your hand. Everybody stand up on your feet, lift up your points and worship them. Worship the Almighty God. If you can lie down, you can lie down. Any position you can take, take and worship Him. Ah. 
I have found the place yes. where I can pour my heart. I have found the place where I can be myself. Everywhere. <laughs> A place where I can have no secret to us. Oh, where I'm the same. A place where I am the same. After it all, with you, Lord, with you, Lord. With you, Lord, I can be taken and not ashamed.
found in you. Lord, I have seen in you. Lord, I have heard from you. Father, I found in you a friend that I can trust. Ay, 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 ay. That is why you will remain my great physician. Ah, ah.
yourself. Yes. A living sacrifice. Hallelujah. Unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Who is your reasonable service. Hallelujah. Let me announce to you. Any sacrifice, material sacrifice you give to God without giving yourself is not acceptable. Yes. That is the problem in the church. That is the problem of the church today. They can give things but they can't give themselves. You are still living in sin. You have not given yourself. The Lord said if you give yourself then your body is dead to sin. You have mortified your flesh is dead to sin. Romans 8 and verse 10. You can't presume you have given yourself to God. No. If you give yourself, you know. If you give yourself to God, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, if you give yourself to Jesus, that's what Paul said to the people of Colossians. He said, your life is hid in Christ and then Christ in God. Your life is hid in Christ and Christ in God. If you can live here with this consciousness tonight that I surrender myself a living sacrifice to God. I tell you the truth. Tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Go and check that HIV is no longer there. Amen. Go and check that ovarian cyst is no longer there. Amen. Go and check that fibroid is no longer there. Amen. Go and check that genotype that have been troubling you is no longer there. Amen. Go and check that demon troubling you tonight God will inspire them. Amen. That is the benefit of giving yourself a living sacrifice. Hallelujah. He didn't say a dead sacrifice. He said a living sacrifice which means God only needs you to serve him now that you are alive. The sacrifice is not a dead sacrifice. It's a living sacrifice. In other words now that you are alive is when he needs you to surrender is now he needs you to give yourself to him there is no repentance on the grave it is when you are alive that he needs you as a sacrifice do we get that very clearly it is when you are alive now not when you are dead the sacrifice must be a living sacrifice the bible says in second timothy chapter 1 from verse 22 he said make yourself ready for the master's use he said make yourself ready for the master to use you that is what we call sacrifice that is a living sacrifice you surrender yourself to him you tell God father this is the whole of me none of me is any other way just take me the way I am Isaiah said father here am I just carry me the way I am. Send me. Send me. Speak, O Lord, for thy servant hear it. So saith Samuel. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, you are face to face with the God of the altar. One of the aspects of that song that I love so much is a leave me at the altar with my father. You may not understand the meaning of that. Anytime you come to church, you enter the gate, through the gate, you are all alone before him. You didn't come in here with anybody. You came in here all alone. Leave me at the altar with my father. When I come to the church, I am all alone with him. I don't care how many people are all around me. I am all alone with him. I cannot be distracted. That is why I am always at loggerhead with people. Seeing people moving about in the church is because you are not alone with God. You don't know why you came to church. If you truly came to church to seek him, you will be alone with him, not looking at anybody. Whether somebody tied hair or not, whether somebody is naked or not, you are not seeing the person because you are alone with your father. Leave me at the altar with my father. The altar is a place of rescue. The altar is a place where destinies are amended. The altar is a place where destinies are retrieved from the devil. Leave me at the altar with my father. I don't care your belief. I don't care what you think. But leave me at the altar with my father. Why? Because I have given myself a living sacrifice. As a worship to him. Ladies and gentlemen. Tonight. Have you surrendered yourself to Jesus? Two minutes. Wherever you are. Lift up your two hands. Whether you are seated or you are standing. 
lift up your toes and say, Father, take me the way I am. Use me. Just use me. Jesus, take me the way I am. From today, I understand what it means to come to the altar. I will not give my eyes to distractions. I am for Jesus. Anytime I come to the altar, I am one on one with Jesus. Distractions, leave me at the altar with my father. Family causes, leave me at the altar with my father. Poverty, leave me at the altar with my father. Barrenness, leave me at the altar with my father. I am here all alone. Demons, leave me at the altar with my father. Lift up those hands to God and talk to him just two minutes and then the service is over. Present yourself a living sacrifice to Jesus. Ask him to take you and to use you the way you have come. And promise him that you will remain only for him. He needs you as a living sacrifice. Not a dead sacrifice. A living sacrifice. Lift up your hands and your voices to God and surrender your life to him. God is talking to somebody here tonight. <laughs> of revelation Amen. mantle of the prophetic Amen. look at it i'm seeing it dropping i'm seeing it dropping lift up your hands lift up your jesus the lord have accepted our worship look at it coming down look at it coming lord there are three to four persons there that mantle is dropping on them he's dropping on the young man over there he's dropping on that young lady he's dropping on them take it now take it wherever you are standing there yes. take the mantle take it oh look at it look at the mantle yes. look at the man is the mantle is a dangerous Amen. mantle i saw it i saw it coming down lift up your hand the mantle is still moving if Amen. you want it you can take it if you want look at that look at that look at that this mantle is a heavy mantle yeah. it's a heavy mantle those that are receiving it today your life can never remain the same yeah. lift up your hands if you are expecting a mantle if you are expecting greatness to drop on you lift up those hands lift up those hands three more persons father yeah. let the mantle come upon three more yeah. persons yeah. let it come upon that young yeah. man over there yes young man young man that's it that's it that's it yes that's it that's it there's a young man at the back there's a young woman there mantle drop upon them right now yeah. take it power Jesus mighty name. Take hey. it. Ushers, move in there. Move in. Move in. Move in there. Look hey. at that. Look at that. Look at the mantle. Look at the mantle. It's a powerful mantle. Look at the mantle. It's dropping. It's, dro it's the spirit of God. It's falling down like rain. It's falling down like rain. Hey. It's the ushers. Ushers. 
Hold the young lady there. Hold the young lady. It's a mantle. It's a dangerous mantle. It's a dangerous mantle. Your worship has gone up to him as a living sacrifice. Dangerous mantle. Dangerous mantle. Dangerous mantle. I don't know what you want. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Stay with her. Stay with her. Stay with mommy. Stay with her. is receiving a mantle here Amen. a mantle of greatness is going to break the barrier Amen. he's going to break that barrier stay Amen. with that young lady over there lift up your hands do you care for the mantle do you care look at that look at that all the babies she's carrying the baby run, 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 Jesus. there is a dangerous mantle that mantle makes you to become unstoppable in life Amen. it's a mantle of speed a mantle of yes. ushers that's right that's right it's a mantle it's a mantle yeah, somebody look at that. Look at you, my canto shaba. Look at, look, look. Bring that young lady over there. I need that particular one. That one, that mantle of speed. There is somebody's speed just dropped on their tie. Jesus, look at that kind of speed. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Makashate kalabada. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at mantle of speed. Take your own here. Take your own. Just take your own. Receive your own. Receive. Receive your lift up the hands over there. Receive the mantle of speed. Receive it. Receive it. Speedy success in your business. You will succeed. You will succeed. You will succeed. Speedy healing. Speedy healing. The mantle is there. Now, one, two, three, four, five. Take the mantle over there. Power. It comes up. Ushers. 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 Let the power. Let the power flow. Let the mantle flow. Let it flow. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, it comes down like fire. That's the mantle. There is nothing you cannot do, Jehovah. Oh, my God. 
I saw three men. Who are these men? Why are they closing her door? My God. Your doors are open. Church, you will know that God called me. Anyone here that the door is closed, right now the doors are open. I 
as I pray for her, I pray for everybody. Lift up your hands, ma. Lift up your hands. Lord, let the iron door break to pieces. Let it open. Let the situation, let it change. Oshas, are you there with me? Are you there? Let it change. Let it change. It's her portion. She can never succeed. Even last week, she went for an interview. I made everybody to accuse her because I knew she did very well. She got 100 over 100. I accused. I made everybody to accuse her that she was not the one that wrote it. Why would she get a job? Why? Why would she get a job? She can't get anything. She cannot get it. Yes, she cannot get it. Who are you? Ah, so many. So many. Some are her friends. Okay. Some are her neighbors. Some even in her husband's house. No, she can never be any. Church, you're not here, about. I was on the <laughs> altar when the Lord showed me. I didn't know she went for an interview. You I didn't know she did well and the right devil closed her door. Time. All right. Right from time, we knew. Okay. She's now, Chinese let me prophesy. Anybody here that the devil have shut your door right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I command that door. Open! Ushers, ushers, ushers. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. I command the door. Open! 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 Amen. It don't finish. It don't finish. Look at it. 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 Sorry, 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 sorry. Our time is over. Sit down one minute, everybody. Leave everyone under the power. If they are okay, fine. Agama Iegeme. Can I pray with you, man? Just two minutes only. Hold my hands. You will not cry. Hold my hands. Your two hands. Two hands. Put it on me. Put it on me. Father, you said your daughter will not cry. But she will laugh. You demon, let her go. One, two, three, go. She will not cry. She will not cry. She will not cry. What did you do to make her cry? I undo it. Her job, her family, everything. Take it back. Power of the Holy Ghost. Jesus, mighty name, it is done. Can I hear your amen? Amen! In Jesus' name. Where you are seated, carry your offerings in your hands one minute. Carry that offering. And if you are a tighter, carry your tight. Run to where I'm standing right now. Run, 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 run. All the tighters, everyone who have kept a covenant with God by tithing, carry that tight. Run quickly. Carry it, run. And in case you didn't come to church with your tithe, you can transfer it to the church account. Studio, put the account of the church on the screen. Let everyone who is here, your offerings, your tithe. Maybe you made a vow to God. You needed help from God and you made a vow to Him. You want to redeem that vow tonight, join the people on the altar, or you can transfer it to the church account. Now hear me, your offering is not only money, your tithe is not only money, so much. some tithes are material tithes. Some tithes are material tithes. Some offerings are material offerings. Any one of them you are giving to God, join the people on the altar. Very quickly, let me pray. Father, accept these tithes, accept these sacrifices from the hands of your children. As they drop it on your altar, let heaven record it for them. In Jesus' name we have prayed. And amen. You are blessed. Drop it on the altar. Church, lift up your offerings everywhere you are. Lift up the offerings above your head. Father, I 
accept these offerings from our hands. Let these offerings come up to you as a sweet smelling savour. As we give this offering tonight, we give every affliction from our body. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed and amen. Stand up on your feet, everyone. Straight to the altar and drop your offerings. God bless you. an anointing service. Can you clap for Jesus? And as well, this coming Sunday is our end of the month Thanksgiving service again. Can you clap your hands for Jesus? It's a miracle Sunday. It's a power Sunday. Please, if you are coming, this coming Sunday, don't come alone. Make sure you invite somebody to church and tell them to get ready. The power of God is going to move like never before. I'm seeing a lot of power here tonight. I'm seeing a lot of power. All of you here will go back home with your miracles today in Jesus' name. Yeah. Let that amen be louder if you are here. Yeah. So Sunday service, everyone come with your bottle of anointing oil. Everybody come with a bottle of anointing oil, your own. Let me pray for you. It's an anointing for preservation. It's an anointing for open doors. So it's not a, it's not a great service. It's a very powerful service. Invite your friends. Invite your neighbors. The time for Sunday service is 8 a.m. in the morning. Can we clap our hands for Jesus? All the youth in the house, shout hallelujah. Our youth, they are going to be having an Independence Day program. The first October program. The time is 4 p.m. And the theme of that meeting is a purposeful youth. Purposeful youth. Our mommy will be here to minister powerfully to everybody. And God will bless you. So this coming um, 1st October, all our youth in the house, ensure that you invite your friends and come and celebrate Jesus in his presence. This is another good news for somebody. How many of you, hallelujah, how many of you, you are here in the church, you have never been baptized by complete immersion? I mean, they didn't dip you completely in water. You are here. Wave your hands. Don't be shy. Wave your hands. It's for your good. It's for your good. Wave those hands above your head. You don't lie to God. You have not been dipped in water completely. Lift up those hands above your head. Lift it up. Lift it up. That's right. The Lord bless you. Now, this coming Saturday by 10 a.m. in the morning, there's going to be water baptism. Therefore, all the people in church, whether adults, now hear me in case you don't know. Jesus said it is mandatory for everyone to be baptized is to fulfill all righteousness matthew chapter 3 and verse 15 and 16 is to fulfill all righteousness is mandatory if jesus was baptized you can't miss it is to fulfill all righteousness so immediately after the service meeting with our pastor pastor simon haruna everyone that is going to be baptized on saturday meet with him he has a very vital information for you it will be an honor for you to be baptized in this commission by god himself so ensure that you don't miss Sunday, uh, Saturday by 9 a.m. for your baptism. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. All the righteous women in the house, you are a woman, you are 18 years and above. Tomorrow evening, you're going to be having a prayer meeting here for one hour for your coming convention, your upcoming International Women Convention. Can you clap your hands for the Almighty God? 
the international women convention is going to be taking place on the 7th or on the 8th and the 9th of october please all the women expedite action and ensure you are here tomorrow for your one hour prayer for that convention this saturday we have our home cell fellowship in all our cell location please let me quickly announce this if you have been coming to church here and you don't belong to any unit you are not serving in any unit in the church you are not you don't belong to any home cell you are not a member you are a number you are a mixed multitude you want to be a member of this ministry you don't you are not paying one naira belong to a unit where people serve in the church i saw my son serving tonight god bless you you just belong to a unit in the church and serve join a unit join a unit and join a home cell that is all it takes for you to be a member and attend the discipleship class i tell you the truth you will never regret doing that because this is the house of god leave me alone with god on the altar ensure that you join the unit if you are here join the ushering join the choir join the protocol every other unit security out there and every other unit in the church make sure you serve god in any unit at any age you think you are you can serve god 60 70 80 years are washing toilet not for anybody but for god so find a place to serve god and god is going to bless you as you do that in jesus mighty name and you're in church you have not given for the ceiling or you have given and you want to give more for the ceiling meet our pastor again pastor simon haruna after the service and our mommy mommy Owakoi, for the ceiling please encourage yourself you need to be part of the ceiling it will help your life it will help your finances it will help you in building your own house make sure you are part of it and god will bless you in jesus name you are an elder above 60 years of age please write down your names with the pastor and you are in church here you have been here for some time and you want to be ordained as a deacon or a deaconess as well write down your names with the pastors the mantles and the books they are there with the ushers or the the book stand the mantle is there 100 naira pick the mantle before you go god bless you in the name of jesus christ next week we're going to be having a prayer meeting on the second that's on saturday second by 5 p.m god bless you all in the name of jesus please all our services including this one tonight is on facebook and on youtube and it's on our website as well our youtube page and our facebook page look at them on the board the moment you go to our youtube page evangelist george Agbo ministry you go there ensure you subscribe so that anytime we come up they will send you notification and when you're watching it like it so that your followers can view the videos as well god bless you all in the name of jesus i decree and i declare you blessed i say you are blessed Amen. you came in here sick you are going back home totally healed in the name of jesus christ Amen. the god whom you have dedicated yourself to tonight is going to attend to all your needs Amen. there's a particular family in church the lord said i should announce to you that the strong man in your family that native doctor that man that goes to charm because i'm seeing a man i don't know the man that have been going to charm going everywhere carrying your names and that of your family members he said i should tell you that by tomorrow hold on hold on hold on look at both of my by tomorrow hear me hear me watch out very well by tomorrow exactly 12 o'clock that man will die amen exactly 12 o'clock anybody that put charm for you to match it so that you can be in trouble i decree that charm will catch that person from today amen My name is Pastor Agbo. This is my work. This is my work. God called me for this assignment. I make a decree. I'm seeing the strong man. Listen to me. Between now and 12 noon tomorrow, you will say, I told you. Yes. That strong man, that strong woman shall expire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, that young lady there. Anybody, anywhere boasting about your life make him boast as if he's the owner of your life make him boast controlling your life with any charm or any witchcraft or any or any uh, uh, any enchantment or any divination today the god of this altar the god whom we have come to worship is replying them now
somebody here is going to get, going to get a car gift. Amen. There's a car gift for somebody here. There's a car Amen. gift. I see. There's a car gift. I see a car. I see a car. I see a car coming. I see a car coming. I see God have opened your heavens. I see your heaven open. I see your heaven open. I see your heaven open. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. Return back with your miracles. Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And amen. Announce to your neighbor, say neighbor, congratulations. Amen. God have done it for you. Congratulations. Congratulations. God has done it for you. I gave four people assigned. I gave four people appointment. Those I give appointment to meet me on the altar. Meet me here right now. Let me pray for you before you go. Surely. God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.